Hey folks, Quill18 here and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Motorsport Manager. So we are going to our third race today, but before we do that, we have to do our very first vote. Um, just as a recap, we are currently working. We've got everyone focused on improving the quality of these new brakes we just designed, or the reliability, just so that we can get them to be worth using as is. So we're probably, for now, we're just going to design the one set of brakes over here, is the idea. Um, because this set of brakes is going to be all right to carry us through, especially once we hit um, peak improvement on that particular one. Because again, this other set of brakes is not actually that much better than the base and has less reliability, but we'll try to get it up there. Meanwhile, we're still working on our illegal gearboxes, but that's fine. So we got a vote. Our first vote here in the uh, European racing series. Series, that's what we are over here. Uh, as to whether or not we should be replacing uh, the Milan track A with track B. I'm just going to abstain from this vote because this is not one I particularly care about one way or another. Some people have come out against, some people have come out for. I'm going to abstain, which is going to give me a plus one vote power during the next vote, so that I'll have a little bit more influence maybe on something that I do care about. So we'll see how it goes. Looks like there's been a track change. Okay, that's fine. I, I think I'm okay with that. I don't really think I care one way or to other. New engine is going to be developed. Uh, it's unlikely we're going to want to race with this new engine in the next one over here. So, uh, But what I do want to do is I want to design another engine back to back. So I can't remember what we did with the first one, actually. Oh, yeah, we gave it the acceleration. So the idea is this new engine, we are going to want it to be good and strong. Uh, these brakes have gotten better. I'm still going to work on the uh, their function a wee bit. So we're going to start investing in... Let's do something like this. I don't even remember if brakes are one of the important things for the next one, but that's going to be okay. Uh, so we're going to keep working on... Basically, both sets of brakes here, one for reliability, one for performance. We need to improve the performance of this at some point, but we're going to go ahead and buff the hell out of this engine as much as possible, because that's going to be handy. And we're going to design a second engine. Um, and likewise, I feel like what I'm probably going to want to do is make another non-illegal engine. Because it does suck when your parts get, like, banned from you. So we're going to spend 1.6 million pounds. We've got the money for it, for another engine. The top speed's going to be quite high. Um, quite a bit higher than our base engine anyway, um, and then we'll still have to give it a whole lot of love um, So it's it's potential best isn't that much higher, but it's gonna be okay um, If we can unlock great uh, Mary Dutas over here our lead designer will be able to add in this particular reliability component Which is gonna be kind of fun. Um, I think that we want be able to yeah We need a test track level one before we can start working with great parts though So we won't be able to start doing the next one right away But still this is gonna be a very helpful for engine for us So we're gonna go ahead and develop that bad boy right over there uh, Mail Upcoming race Milan you're making some requests. You've got that you've got that okay We haven't actually installed the part in the car yet, but that's because we've got a race in five days and I don't think I'm going in with a 40% reliability engine I don't like that idea. Bum, bum, bum. Keep going. And I'm focused on reliability because I think that's really the key for what we want right now. Okay. Round up of some other events that are going on. Actually, let's take a second here. Uh, what else are we working on? The reliability, there's brakes. Um, yeah, that's okay. I'll keep splitting this right now because we'll be using this, these brakes this race. If we were want to use these engines ASAP, I probably wouldn't work on it. Uh, but for now, that's going to be fine. Okay. All right. That's swell. Finance management. What, what is going on? Extremely concerned about the status of the team's finances. Yeah, no, it's okay. I mean, yeah, I, I have spent a lot of money recently, but trust me, it's for the best. And we may, after we design this engine, we may put a pin on designing parts for a little bit. Um, because we're going to be pretty well off. I would like to very much um, buy a new building. I don't know if that's going to be in the cards or not, though. I don't know, we might just go ahead and keep designing parts. Finances be damned. So, oh, Claudia's fourth overall in the driver's stance. And Luigi Marchetta is in 11th. And yeah, fifth overall. Actually, we're tied in fourth. Actually, we're basically tied for third. It's a three-way tie for third place. That's good. All right, so here, top speed, deceleration, and high speed corners are the most crucial. Now, it's worth noting that acceleration is not listed as one of those. Right, which makes me think, what if we don't run our custom and illegal transmissions? Now, if we don't do that, that does make it a lot harder for us to perform well. It looks like rainy on the practice and clear on the race day. 
Like, do we just semi-tank this one? That's actually what I'm wondering. If we save our fancy gearboxes for when it matters. Now we could get more top speed, which is very important on this because the, the, the lines were a lot straighter by running this engine, but I think the reliability is just too damn low. I'm just not comfortable doing that. Yeah, it's a shame that we couldn't get our engine up to spec for this one. But our transmission was, was paying off well last time. So yeah, we'll just not run the illegal transmission in a race where it's not as important. There's a good chance we won't do that well, but that's going to be okay. I am running slightly better brakes than the one I designed and the one the, the original that I've been improving. And deceleration is important on this one. That's okay, yeah, it's this long straightaway. You want to go as fast as possible, as long as possible, and just break at the very, very, very end. Okay, we'll do this. So, I mean, we can't... We can't not run on intermediates. During the practice day, right? Because what if we get a crazy crash? Uh, I think I'm going to do that. It's going to be kind of annoying. But that's the way it is. It looks like we probably want more downforce, which will boost the, the handling as well. Uh, we actually want the gear ratios. We don't want to drop them too much. Because we do need a fairly high top speed. Maybe a little bit more downforce. All right, we'll go somewhere like that. It's gonna feel, it feels like this is gonna be kind of awkward to get the specs that they're looking for. A lot more balance here, actually, with Claudia. And we'll start you on intermediates. So a little bit more halfway. All right, let's uh, let's give this a run. We'll we'll take the practice. That's fine. Um, send out four laps. Those tires go slightly ahead. Four laps. Intermediates. It's going to be rain the entire time that we practice. That's kind of annoying! Because again, it probably... I mean, maybe there'll be some rain. Maybe getting a little bit of XP is going to be helpful for that. I mean, some of my opposition's running intermediates. We'll see. I suppose I could have started intermediates and then gone to um, slicks. Or sorry, if I could have started on slicks and then gone to intermediates once it got wetter. But it's basically wet right from the beginning. It does look like it's going to taper off, though. So we might be able to do the second half of our practice on, say, soft tires. What's the temperature? 21 degrees and stable. We don't know what it is going to be on Friday, though. Tone, the arrow, tone down the arrow setup. It's far too high. Okay. So definitely looks like we'll need a few tweaks on this one. On track. Yeah, I think just as the last of the water dries up off the tracks, we'll bring people in. We'll replace uh, the setup with slicks. Handling's not enough yet. All right, we are, we are pretty far off, apparently, on our initial handling. That's a real shame. Oh, you're happy with your arrow. Intermediate type knowledge. Great. All right, bring in, bring in. Because time's going to keep ticking anyway. So by the time we finish our change... Oh, it's going to start raining again. Doesn't matter. We're going to get some soft experience. I want at least level one of the soft. Give us some options. Oh, we're almost level two intermediate. All right. Um, so you're not happy. Were you complaining it was too high or too low? Someone was saying it was too high. But you actually look like the, the sweet spot is a little bit further towards the middle. Handling looks surprisingly good. I don't want, know what you want me to do with it, but we're going to just switch to, to soft tires here. Speed balance is good, even though it doesn't look quite centered. I know it's probably a sign that we just mostly need a little bit more info. Well, I should try to make some sort of change. Let's go a little higher top speed. There. 
Let's try to do this. Meanwhile, you're also miserable. You were complaining about... When are you worse complaining about it? It looks like you actually do want it toned down just a scooch. Um, you definitely want, you know, a little bit more speed. But maybe a little softer suspension as well. Alright. Get out there. Do what you can. But dry for now. It's not going to stay dry for very long. And then you're going to complain that you're out of slicks. Just try not to die. We'll finish out the practice this way. Yeah, everyone else has switched in from units. <laughs> We're insane. Yeah, it would be it would suck to crash the car during practice. But yeah, if we can get rank one of soft, I'm gonna be real pleased for the race. Speed balance right on the money, good. Although again, all circumstances will change when the weather changes too. So I don't know if we're gonna wanna like make some tweaks to our design based on the day's weather. Uh, too much angle on the wing. So yeah, you're still complaining there's too much downforce. Okay, Claudio, reduce downforce. Uh, okay, no complaints from Luigi this time, not yet. Looks like the soft tire practice isn't really going to kick in, probably because we're running on the wrong kind of tire in the wrong environment, so we're not really getting the right credit for it. Because we're at level zero still. You don't like the handling either. Okay, that'll be a little tricky. If we bring down, if we reduce downforce, it's going to reduce some of the handling strength. So we'll see what we can do there. At least the setup knowledge is getting higher though, so we're going to get some good info. Alright, Luigi seems to be very happy with the setup. Alright, time's up. Perfect gear ratio at least. Okay, at least there's one thing right for Claudia. Wow, it's quite warm. I wonder how warm it'll be. That actually... That might lead to us really wanting to start with medium tires if it's that warm. And since we're not going to have any levels of uh, practical with um, the soft tires, I guess that's not going to matter too, too much. All right, Claudia wants less arrow, more handling. Yeah, I can see that. So soften the suspension a little bit. There we go. Try something like that. Um, so weather forecast, 16 degrees, no rain. Twenty-one laps. You know, if we did go with mediums, oh, you can only have uh, you can only have fuel for nine laps. I was gonna say we could maybe get away with just one pit stop, but we won't have enough fuel to do that. I mean, we could go on super efficiency, but no. So clearly, we're gonna be running softs, and I mean, we're not gonna do that. That's too tight. So we're gonna have to go with eight laps worth of fuel in there. But that's that's a good setup for two stops. Be nice if we could squeeze something else out, but no. Um, you're happy with the downforce. You were mostly happy with the gear balance, but the handling. I think you want the gears to be stiffened up a little bit. So we're gonna just do that. And likewise, yeah, you'll do the soft. That's gonna be fine. And eight laps worth. Yeah, we can't we can't do a longer stint because it just doesn't make any sense. I think I think that's that. Um, we will start slightly more aggro. Actually, you know what? You're going to start in the neutral for the tires because you're going to burn a little bit more than Luigi will. Oh, knowledge. What do we got going on? Um, do we want to run the nurse? We, okay, we've got the racing trim, which is really nice. We're not going to do the intermediate or the intermediate. Yeah, go ahead with nurse. That's going to be fine. Um, Luigi, I guess you're going to go race trim and. I suppose you're going to take the performance increase with intermediates because, again, it's the fuel tank that's going to hold us back more than the tires. So if there is any rain, at least you'll get a little bit of a boost there. That'll be okay. And again, we don't have our, our, our cheating transmission here. So our performance, it will be a little harder. And I forgot, we do want to start with a slightly more aggressive tire just to get the temperature up. Starting in 17th place. That's very annoying, actually. 
Weather forecast still unchanged. Okay. Alright, we wouldn't bring it down a notch now. I think we're gonna be fine. Whoa. People are being born by whoa. Claudia's in last place. I mean I know we don't have Oh! And a crash. Diffy cart should have joined the pit. Um No. Again. We keep getting uh we keep getting safety cars like right at the start of the race. Very surprising. Again, I I I played through a full full season already. I'd never seen a single safety car. Plenty of crashes, no safety car. And here we are getting this. Uh I mean, I guess again, it's potentially fine that this happens while we're right at the end, so make sure no one goes way too far ahead, although it also means we can't pass, obviously. We don't have the we don't have a very high engine top speed. It continues to be a bit of an issue because we don't have our new engines in yet. Yeah, this is gonna hurt, but at least none of our techs are gonna go away. So we got this insane safety lap down. Not particularly fun. Can I click on other people to see? Yeah, here I can click on the leader. There we are. There's the leader. There's the safety car. Boo. Ooh, safety. No one likes safety. Oh, you can actually click on this to see the safety car. Oh, well, that's, that's handy. So they're probably still removing car 20. I don't know if we can actually see it get removed. It'd be kind of cool if there was a tow truck. I got a barrier over here. Not, there's really not much to look at right now. Yeah, our tires are dead cold. So when we come out of this, like, we're going to need to go and send our tires up a notch. I don't know if it's something we can do. I don't know if we can encourage these people to warm up their tires properly while things are going on. Safety car is now heading for the garage. I think this car is going to stay here the whole time. Presumably they were clearing the track or something, like of debris, more than anything else. That's Ja. Did Oh, got a pickup truck, or a, a lorry there, but I don't think that's related to anything. Safety car, heading to garage. Where are you? It's interesting you're so far ahead from the, uh, the pack. Seems a little odd. There you go. Get the hell out of there. Okay, no more safety car. We are a go. Tire temp, still a little on the low side. But we made some moves. Luigi getting some nice passing down. Yeah, and his actual overtaking skill is quite poor, but in this case it's working out kind of okay. Um, our tires have a lot more juice than our actual fuel because we've been burning fuel going around the track. But we really haven't been working the tires. Still. I think it's going to be fine. I wonder what that does for any of our pacing. Also, how's the weather? Uh, still gonna be dry. It's gonna be bone dry the entire race. I'm pretty convinced at this point. I mean, the, the initial weather report had said clear, but, I don't know, you never trust that shit. Ever. Fifteen laps remaining. So they're both gonna have to pit it at, at the same time, really. And they're both gonna be pitting with a fair amount of tire left. I don't necessarily want to put it up any higher, though, because it starts to get a little bit silly. Mm, fuck it. Rip through your tires, man. It's fine. If you can, if you can get like an extra, you know, five seconds before the pit save, that would be awfully nice. So yeah, you'll both have to come in on this one. Um. So, no matter what, thirteen laps remaining. I don't even know if it's worth putting in the full fuel or, or saving, like, because we're gonna, there's gonna be, because we have to stop again, right? So if we did something like seven and then six laps worth of fuel, we could save a little bit of weight on each go, and that would be okay. Um, and since we're going to be switching tires anyway, we'll switch tires. Parts are 100% fine. Same, same logic here. So we'll do that. Parts, you're good. There we go.
And we can keep running the tires fairly intensely here because it's going to be probably the fuel that does it more than anything else. Ah, bad pit stop. Really bad pit stop. Why did we just stack the cars in the pit? Not cool. Yeah, I mean, it would have been good to break it up, but the problem is you both needed to pit that lane. Um, I suppose I could have pit someone earlier. That probably would have been better. Maybe that would have reduced the chance of failure. Wow, someone ran out of, ran out of fuel. So, they, they did get in. That's them now. Hold on. Right here. That's this car here. These guys are out of fuel. So they go super slow. They also desperately need tires, so that's nice to see other people getting, like, making horrible mistakes. It's not just me. So, I should have given them slightly different amounts of fuel so that they could pit at different offsets. Hmm. I had have Claudia drive a little bit more aggressively. Burn through her supply a little faster. That might be something that's viable. Because, I mean, no matter what, they're going to have to pit one time. So it doesn't really matter exactly when they do it. I could pit earlier. She should be a little harder on her tire because she doesn't have the same sort of smoothness. I would think, especially if she's running a little faster. I mean, I know they're not exactly the same settings, but still. It sort of makes sense to me. So if you can shorten your lap times, that would be kind of nice. Oh, set a personal best in sector two. I mean, she's got no one ahead of her, so she should actually be making up relatively decent time. Still in 13th place. And we'll get the sponsor objective, but no one's going to be particularly happy with this outcome. But we knew that, because we left some parts on the shelf. Just because I didn't think it would make enough of a difference, and I think it would be a risk. Because it sucks, because what they do is they, first of all, they give you a cash penalty. It's like 10,000 like pound cash penalty. Plus, they knock you down a couple of spaces for having an illegal part. Plus, they ban the part and take it away from you. So, you spent a million plus dollars on a part. That's the thing that really hurts. So, why risk it in a race where that part's not going to help as much? I don't know. Maybe I should have still gone, but I don't know. I'm not, I'm not feeling too bad. So, you're about to burn past the pit. So, and now you have... There you go. You will pit on the next go. That's going to be fine. So, you're going to have six laps remaining after this. So, we'll put in just over six laps worth of fuel in there. Uh, you'll switch to another set of soft tires. That's going to be fine. No parts are in critical condition. Good. Meanwhile, Luigi. Yeah, there we go. So you'll... And I'll be a little tight for you, i got to say. You're pitting. Also, your tire temperature is getting quite high. Let's go and bring that down now. I mean, you're not at risk of running out, but... Go, pit stop panel, all in the green. Excellent. Oh, your engine sounds a bit unhealthy. Uh, that's fine. Where are you now? You just you just got past the pit, which is going to be fine. Yeah, you're going to be stopping no matter what. So you'll be putting on the softs. You're going to have five laps after this, so we'll put in five and change. Your engine is pretty crummy. Your transmission's also pretty bad. Like, do I just fix everything? You're going to have five laps left. You know what? I think you kind of need it. That's going to suck. Okay, saved in two seconds? No. We're going to do that. We're going to do a huge shift of your car. And that's going to have to do. Alright. Claudia's got um, excess fuel, but not, not tons of excess. Uh, 16 laps. You've got five left to go. Um, I probably want to run your tires more neutral so they don't start to overheat. The higher engine mode is probably fine for now. We'll have to keep an eye on you, though. Meanwhile, you, how far away are you pitting now? Good. So your fuel was fine. You're going to keep everything in, in, the in the neutrals, so you're going to be okay. So if all goes well, Claudia should not have to stop for anything else. Her parts are in good condition. I mean, that, that nurse trait on the mechanic is really fantastic. Really fantastic. That is a long pit. But there you go. Had to be done. What can you say? They'll be happy now that some of the parts are working better, so that's going to be okay. You're still saying excess fuel, which is fine. 80%. Good temp. Good temp across here. Lap 18. Yeah, the tire condition is great. So... 
so just barely excess fuel probably on both so I don't think I'm gonna change anything hopefully you can make up another spot well the problem is number 11 is catching up here let's see where you're here you got quite a bit of fuel because you're about to get start your second lap yeah 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 you know what you can well you're on a high you need now you need two tanks worth of fuel you've got two and a half can I go to overtake no nah, I'll just leave it in high that's gonna be fine meanwhile you have just started lap 19 so 19 20 21 so three laps left you have quite a bit you can definitely go to high you got four almost four laps worth of tank of fuel in there and you've got less than three to go so you can go a little bit faster and Claudia it's possible you know what I think we can probably put you into full overtake now we'll have to keep a close eye on things we'll come in here finish line is here yeah you're gonna go into the final lap final lap with not an infinite amount of fuel Let's just send it down to high for now. Because I'm a little bit paranoid about you running out. I mean, it looks like you can finish solidly in 10th. 9th place isn't that far. Well, that's 19th. But 9th place wasn't that far ahead of you. But you need to be doing better than that. Oh, you finished your race. And you're done over here. Alright, 10th and 18th. Well, could have been a lot better. But the next one, the next one probably going to be a lot more... Um, a lot more locked in there. So I think, I think once you repeat the race courses too, you get more info. So like next season, we'll have a little bit more info going into it. Scrutineers, we have no risk of breaking any rules. There we go. But you don't break rules, you don't win. Hmm. Be nice if there was more than one cutscene. I think these are all, they're all the same when you do this. Some racing tiers, lock development, different car parts. You cannot improve them or improve these spec parts. Yeah, yeah, I know that. That's my front and rear wing. I can't improve. Uh, there might be a vote at some point to have another spec part for something else. That is a big morale drop. That's all right. Yeah, your performance hasn't been great. Claudia continues to develop her skills, which is fantastic to see. Decent amount of money. 2.4 million. Well, I mean, it's not infinite. Again, if you designed one engine, that's basically the bulk of that still. Probably going to want to do some more of that. What's this? An interview? Sure. I uh, had time to get used to it. Um, we need to... Um, what are your main worries? Let's keep improving our car's performance. Oops, that made them unhappy. Maybe I shouldn't have said that. But it's true, though. Design a new part that's good. Fitting, nothing yet. Well, we will be fitting some stuff for the next race. Um, I wonder... Where do you go to find out, like what the important performance for the next race is. When you're designing a new part, you can see it. Um, next race. Oh, there we go. Both here and there. Acceleration is crucial in the, la the next race. So we're definitely going to be running our new component. Top speed is, is important. Not crucial, but it is important. Still, it clearly means we're going to be doing some stuff. So then the question is, do we balance the two, or do we put all our eggs in one basket? It's a big, big question. So we get Luigi the speed. And then, do we also give him the best gearbox? She's not cranky, so that's okay. You're not too far out of whack. I don't know, Claudia, Claudia's clearly better, right? So we should just give her the better one? Let's give her the better gearbox. Um, oh, the reliability is lower right now because things are getting repaired. We could give her the better engine. That's going to make him... Uh, he's okay. She's thrilled. So this is going to really increase the odds of a really good finish with Claudia. And he's potentially going to get an engine. It's possible, uh, depending on when that one gets fixed. So the repair is done. When is the design finish? Seven days. And our next race in 24. I bet you he gets his next engine, too. Brake reliability has gotten pretty good. Is there anything we're running that's a little bit lower in reliability? Well, the other brakes, I suppose, but... Yeah, definitely working on that. Actually, what, here's what I think I'm going to do. I'm going to focus on just this engine. Uh... 
And the other thing I'm going to do, since acceleration is very key, we're going to go in and try to improve performance on these. There we go. And right, improvements over here. Seven days before race, you'll finish this. But that's that's not entirely accurate because we're going to get another engine complete soon. And then we'll be working on reliability of both. We want reliable, fairly quick engines. Even without working on the performance, they're going to be better than the baseline ones. Engine build finished. All right, Luigi. Um, so do we do this? He's not actually getting cranky about it, which is good. The reliability is really low. We got the 68% on this one, though. That's pretty good. You know what? I think if we just focus on this engine like that, I think that's going to be good enough. You're going to get a fair amount of reliability thrown in here before the race goes. Big boost to performance here. You're both going to be running much, much, much better gearboxes. I think I'm going to be very excited for the next race, boys and girls. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.